We have Pramila Nisargi of the BJP joining us as well. Pramila Nisargi, why shouldn't the Chief Minister of Gujarat be held responsible this, for this? Why shouldn't the BJP government of Gujarat be held directly responsible for this? Mr. Dushyant spoke. He was thinking that for everything, what is whatever happening in India, Modi is responsible. I do not know. 1984, the Constitution I Amendment took that. place, and the, the municipalities that, and all of those people, decentralization and puffers have been given. Otherwise, there is nothing like that. But who must be held responsible, whether the government or the municipality is the question before us now. They, in view of the fact that the properties are held by, all the properties are held by the local municipality in law, so far as India is concerned. It is not that the chief minister holds the property or he wants the property. In view of Madam, the decentralization and power being are conferred dead. on the local bodies, it is are, dead. are you saying there is the no responsibility of the elected prior, government in Gujarat? Is responsible. Is there no responsibility of I'm the elected government? You know, government of Gujarat. 134 people are dead. More than uh, 50 uh, children. In India, powers have been distributed. The property is held in trust by the government. Uh, for every any property which is held by the government, it is they are holding the property as a trust on behalf of the public. They are in any way responsible. I don't say they are they can share. But primarily, the municipality which is there is primarily responsible. 